Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings, because let's be real, you can't go wrong with the classic Paper Mario games. Except for, uh, how easily it crashes. Wait, what? Well, for example, Huff and Puff. Use Bo's smack while he has one health remaining, and so long as there are no tough puffs on screen, it'll crash the Nintendo 64 version. Ah, uh, well... I could go on about how broken Cooper is, or how invisible penguins can also crash Paper Mario. Hey, hey, why don't you just join me for today's video? <laughs> I'm down. Let's try to nitpick this N64 classic. There's music notes, hearts and stars for your name, but no basic exclamation points or question marks. Oh, of course Mario and Luigi's house has a giant Mario sign up above, egotistical prick. I know this is nitpicky, but why are the G's so giant compared to the rest of the letters? Yeah, this is N64, and the 2.5D art style is really unique, but some option to swivel the camera would make these rooms a bit easier to navigate. I'm sorry, but just how did Bowser get his vehicle under the castle with nobody noticing? Mario and Peach should be dead from the frigid vacuum of space. Bowser is way too cute looking to be a scary bad guy. Look at him. Look at that little guy. Oh, you think Mario will recover? He was blasted with a star rod, fell from freaking space, and crash landed on the ground. That block is not a real obstacle for Mario. You can jump on similar blocks with a good angle. Why not this one? Because invisible walls, I guess. Not that those stop us either. With some luck, you can manipulate Goombaria's position to lure her near the block's hitbox and execute a frame-perfect A press to clip Mario right through the- Uh, Strider, this isn't a glitch video. Heh. <laughs> I wonder if Mario wanted Goombario to come along, even though Goompa kind of forced it to happen. Okay, it's kind of funny that I have to ask Toad to take a nap. Beware of Goombas? What the- Okay, that was beyond clever, god damn. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but with more Nintendo and less Michael Bay. Wait, is that a bad thing? You know, I feel bad for Luigi. He gets stuck watching the house while some random Goomba goes on this adventure with Mario. Mario's an ass. Could you have guessed that by breaking these blocks in a very specific order you get this FXB badge? Yeah, you can't guess that. You may never find the badge without a guide. Bombette realizes how silly it is that she's never blown up this cracked wall until now, but what's the explanation for the other four bombs wasting away in jail? Hello? Okay, who has the reaction time to avoid that? John, can you add a timer and show how many frames that was? Like, I don't know how many it was, but that just wasn't enough for a human being to be able to comprehend that. Why do we need so many fortress keys? Hell, if you skip using them by exploiting the game, they work on any of the other doors in this fortress. Yet Mario throws a key away once it unlocks a door. 200 IQ detected. See, if this red switch activated the wing cap like it does in Mario 64, I could just fly <laughs> over this room. What is the princess doing? Putting on perfume? Grabbing a smoke? I really need to know. Bowser is quite possibly the most delusional character ever. No, Peach will not like you as a result of locking up her royal court, kidnapping her, and allegedly killing the closest thing she has to a boyfriend. If you give this cooking toad the wrong item to cook with, you'll get a mistake. Yes, that's what the meal is called. I'm not sure if I should laugh or be offended. This train montage almost remixes Calamari Desert like it really should, but it barely does it, and I'm really sad now. You know, for being paper, Mario falls pretty damn fast. The bird not only can't tell the difference between Mario and Luigi, but he has a picture of Mario and still doesn't know. What an idiot. Dry Dry Desert is way too easy to get lost in. Do not touch Tweezer or you'll be blown to a random part of the desert, making the trek even more confusing. Oh, so the flowers eerily laugh at you. That's kind of nightmarish for a game tailored to all ages. Man, I have no idea where to go. I guess I'll try this route. Wait a minute, it sent me back to the beginning? This is some Lost Woods BS. The wolves in the background will not stop howling. Shut up! This game was in development during the same time as Luigi's Mansion, and Luigi's Diary hints at this. If Mario just brought Luigi along, this chapter would be a cakewalk once all the boos are vacuumed up. But instead, we're forced to defeat an invincible opponent in exchange for the Star Spirit. I don't get why Mario had to use this specific weight to hold down the chandelier. He went out of his way to play music for some boo when he could have just used some random object in the mansion. And this is why I have trust issues. Okay, two things. One, this is not a spin jump as the game calls it. That's a ground pound. And two, how does this giant hammer not smash some wood but the ground pound does? 
It sure is fun how they expect casual players to use out of sight every two turns. That feel when you get assaulted by a powered up Hyper Goomba. Apparently planting seeds equals instant flowers. There is an emoji star badge. No, I'm not joking. You know, what kind of asshole steals a calculator anyway? If you're not a fan of backtracking, sorry in advance when you reach chapter four. Okay, Colorado, cry wolf all you want, but I'm not saving you next time. Or I, I won't want to anyway. You see that nice shiny coin? Yeah, don't grab it. This plant will suck HP out of you and it's not even worth it. Selling some of these items are like GameStop trade-ins. You get barely anything in return. Did this block really need to be so far away? Like seriously, look at this. I didn't think a flower could look dumb until I saw this abomination. Who is gonna find this random star piece that makes you ground pound this random spot on the ground? Yeah, nobody. Yep, that is indeed a plant eating berries. You're looking at a cannibal, ladies and gentlemen, and this game is E-rated, mind you. So Luigi does play an important role. Really, as a disguised enemy, pretending to be the real Cooper? Kinda wish he had a real purpose in the story, you know? This Crystal Palace puzzle is the most confusing place. I don't think lakes can move like that. Forget I said that. When volcanoes just slide across the ground, you can't care anymore. Warning. The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings. Cause Mario be getting all them girls. I mean, seriously, everyone has a crush on them. It's kinda weird. Once upon a time, there was a lovely princess. Two minutes into the game and I see a noose. This is gonna be a wild ride, isn't it? I see Mario hasn't got rid of that sign with his name still. This is the worst handwriting of all time. How does a two-sided coin have like four pictures? What is this dark magic and how can I possess it? You know, a dedicated run button would have been really nice. Oh, so now I have to pay money to sleep? The first game I didn't have to do that. Why am I paying now? This Koopa sure has a lot of pictures of Peach. That's a little creepy. Come on, Mario, you're made of paper. Go through the crack. You don't need to be cursed to learn to do that, okay? Welcome to the 65th Super Fun Quirk Quiz. That's an oddly specific number. Is this a small reference to the original Paper Mario being on the N64? Does that mean there's 63 Paper Mario games before this? I need to know. Would you guess that you can walk on this tiny ledge? Maybe I'm dumb, but that looks like part of the background to me. I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. Whoa there, I am not into your foot fetishes, Hooktail. You need to chill out. So Luigi went on his own little adventure, and when he's talking about it, Mario had the audacity to fall asleep while his bro was sharing the story. What a jackass. Seriously, you're made out of paper. Just slither through the giant gaps in the bars to escape. It's common sense. Wait a second. I didn't know I was playing Pikmin. You got a super boots. That's bad grammar. Okay, this is just straight up nasty, man. I don't care if Mario's a plumber. Warping through a toilet just doesn't sit right with me. Look closely, my friends. That is a fake mirror right there. You want to know how? Because there's no reflection of Peach. You can't see her. Let me guess. A ghost comes out of this box? Wow, I did it. I've been really depressed thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels. Hold up. I'm playing a video game to escape real life, not be reminded by it. Wait a minute, is this just Paper Metroid Prime? All these Bowser levels makes me wish an actual Bowser game would come out one day. I can't be the only one thinking this is a subtle reference to that Rainbow Ride Star of Mario 64, right? Am I the only person that thought? Okay, yep. Okay, who put the piranha fish in the fountain? That's not cool. Ah, yes, jumping on up a bomb to wake them up is a great idea. Why does this song slap so hard? Lovely, they added emoji badges again. After the insane battle with Shadow Queen Peach, fighting off her two forms, having to take on 14 HP attacks and all that madness, what do you get at the end? You get one star point. One star point. Please never forget about us, all right? Oh, believe me, professor, we didn't forget. The players did not forget about this wonderfully crafted, near flawless RPG that went far out and beyond to be one of the best sequels to any game ever created. We did not forget that. And then this happened. Yeah, we'll get to this one eventually, don't worry. Warning! The following video is kind of over-exaggerated. Some opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings. Because don't you just love it when a game completely removes core features from the gameplay?
I would register my software, but I feel like this pin isn't gonna work anymore. I can't believe Mario let Luigi get away with the mushroom. You coulda ran for it, dude. You know, I always figured the day would come where Peach and Bowser actually get married. Why is Count Black and Luigi talking in third person? Mario's name on his own house is never coming off, is it? You look really silly, says the guy with rotating square hands. Wait a second, where's the RPG battle? Is this even an RPG? Why does it take 8,000 years to transform into Mega Mario? The pixel partners are pretty lame compared to the partners from the first two Paper Mario titles. Why does Mario need throw to pick up enemies? He has hands! Damn does Mario climb up the ladder slowly. It sucks that I can only use the Wii Remote. It'd be nice to have the Classic or Pro Controllers as an option. Begging someone to go out with them doesn't work. I, I know this on a personal level. Constantly falling down these pits are annoying. One million rubies? Am I playing a Zelda game from a parallel universe where rupees are called rubies? So now I have to pay off this one million debt by working for this Egyptian guy and basically have to hit this spark block one million times. That's right, this is underpaid labor in a Mario game. Rated E for everyone. So I need to make 10,000 rubies running on this gerbil wheel, and I'm not even exaggerating. You hold right for over five minutes to get enough rubies. What were they thinking? Why is this passcode so long? I literally had to write it down so I wouldn't forget. That's my Merly? More like, it's not Melee, huh? Got him. This isn't a game show. It's more like a really fancy interrogation. I love that this room has tons of Nintendo systems like the N64, GameCube, Famicom, SNES, and Virtual Boy. Ugh. Would you look at that? This room has every partner from Thousand Year Door. I miss you guys. I love going on message boards and complaining about games I've never played. This statement hasn't aged in the slightest. Why the f*** did my game turn into a dating simulator? So how much do you make? Oh my god, Peach is a gold digger. Guys, you need to stay far away. Why does the minus button have to take you to the controls? They should have mapped that to switching partners in pixels instead of having to push one and two simultaneously. The pixelated clouds do not mesh with the Rocky Mountains at all. What's your favorite word? Oh, you don't have to ask me twice. It takes until chapter five to get Paper Mario's iconic weapon, the hammer. Why bother making a minecart section if you can't even jump? Now, yes, changing to 3D does change your path for that one railroad, but that's it. And suddenly we're playing the Minish Cap. I'm tired of refighting O-Chunks. He's not getting any harder. You can't buy multiples of an item. It's only one at a time. Bowser is so OP in this game. His fire is incredibly strong and it has insane reach too. After Black interrupts the gauntlet of fights, you have to walk through five areas with no fighting. Why not just take me to the star block instead of wasting my time? So there is one RPG battle and they decided to make it retro and hey, would you look at that? I somehow missed jumping on enemies. Nice. Okay, okay, hold on. Space doesn't work like that. If you were literally launched into space, one, you'd probably die from your body not being able to handle the sheer speed, and two, there's no gravity to pull you back down. World 7 is the biggest slog. There is just so much backtracking and it's really freaking boring. Maybe I'm just bad, but the fast flower goes way too fast and makes everything slippery. You know, what does this game even want to be? A platformer? A fighter? A space shooter? A dating sim? An RPG? They should have just picked one genre and focused on that, but instead we have tons and they're all mediocre. Warning! The following video is slightly over-exaggerated. A few opinions are accurate to my thoughts and feelings. Because who doesn't love stickers? It's not like we ever want to use them, right? Bowser has flip-flops. This is not a good start. Who would throw a festival for freaking stickers? For a Paper Mario game, there sure is a lot of toads and not a lot of interesting characters like Goombella, Vivian, Koops, Lady Bo, and the list goes on and on. I was gonna say something about the green toad being a jerk and not helping push, but then he gets squished by the ground and he got what he deserved. Right, come on, Mario. Fall in. Fall in! Please! Fall in the freaking fountain! Talk about a worn down battle system, all I could do now is attack or run. You could do so much more in the older games like swap partners, use a special, skip a turn, gain experience points for winning battles like a normal RPG does. And the fact that you lose stickers after one use sucks. It makes me not want to do any fights and just save up the stickers for bosses because there's no penalty for running from enemies. These toads making a bridge is pretty cool, but they're made of paper. There is no way they could handle the weight of Mario stepping on 
on them like this. While you can technically organize your stickers, you also can't. There's no way to move them manually to your liking. This is actually just symbolization of a Goomba that's stuck between two pipes. Ah, so I have to stop this Bowser statue from flowing water. If I just grow through this path, then maybe I... Mmm, of course it's coming from his buttocks. Of course. Ugh. I wish there was a run button. R isn't really used, so it could have been mapped to that. So this door for 2-1 requires six stickers to open. I only had half of them, so I went to the shop to get what I was missing, but lo and behold, the fire flower wasn't at the shop. Which means I had to go into a random level or the shop in 1-6 just to get the stupid flower. Oh my god, finally! An interesting looking character! Ah, oh, what does he have to say? Oh my god, really? I don't want to fight him. He's just playing some tunes. Why do the worn out hammer and jump stickers even exist? There's literally zero reason to get them when there's so many other better stickers out there. So to beat 2-4, you use paper eyes near the sandstorm and then you use the vacuum thing. And that's it. Yep, that's the whole stage. Enjoy your star comet. Like, why didn't they put this inside an actual level? When you're in the desert, water is the ba-bomb! Oh yeah, ha, get it? There's something fascinating and creepy about toad Egyptians. Why can't I hammer this little stub thing? Hey look, it's totally not Lost Woods. Oh, finally I get a partner, and it's a segment of Wiggler's body. Yay. You can't buy secret door stickers anywhere but here. That's called a monopoly, baby. Yeah, look at how smug this toad is. Wait till the law catches up with you, pal. I just realized that slinging the things at this paper is literally reverse doodle bob. Couldn't Mario use this paper and just make everything become flat and lifeless and then be used for consentless destruction? Oh great, a random game show. Again. Stay perky? Don't tell me how to live my life. Why do I feel like I'm playing Breaking Bad right now? Boy, am I glad it was obvious to hit my hammer at the air to make these invisible blocks appear just so I could get this secret door. Suddenly, Luigi's Mansion. Or, I, I guess, Mario's Mansion now. Ah, the infinite jump sticker. The ability to do 100 jumps. That's totally not broken. Wait, how is Toad talking to me through this block of ice? Remind me to never go skiing with Mario. He's a little on the reckless side. What's this, an NES password? Cornering this shy guy is a freaking nightmare. Stickers are not food, huh? Well, how do you explain the shaved ice, soda, turkey, and cake stickers? This Bowser fight is really cool, but seriously, the lava never kills him anymore. Most of the recent Mario games, he dips into lava and becomes more powerful. Like, it happens every time. So with all this said, is Paper Mario Sticker Star really that bad of a game? I mean, it does have a lot of really redeeming qualities, like, um, fantastic graphics for a 3DS. The writing, it's amazing. Also, really cool text, regardless if they're stickers or not. The music is slapping, absolutely slapping, and the bosses are super fun. Now, that's a lot of cool things, but then on the other hand, there's three core mechanics of Sticker Star that ruin the game. No fun partners, difficulty spikes for no reason, and the worst part of all, the battle system. These three things essentially ruin the game, and honestly, it's really disappointing. And there's not much else to say. Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings. You all ready to splash it up? I know I am. I like how the box says, turn up the heat, and literally right next to it is, put out the fire. Well, which is it? This beginning looks a lot like a thousand year door, except with a card battle system. Why would Toad throw Mario's hammer overboard anyway? Was Mario playing whack-a-mole with him and took it too far? I love that you could just whack Peach for literally no reason. I can't believe the game lets you do that. You can't pause by pushing plus, you have to tap the screen. Like, why can't you do both? I know that plus is used for leading levels you beat, but that could have been mapped to the minus button. This is my friend, Mario. Oh god, Mario's been canonically friend-zoned. That is really sad. Oh goody, everyone's favorite battle system, using cards and trying not to waste them. And playing cards takes so long now. You have to select your card, drag it in place, click that you're ready, hold down to paint it, flick it forward, and then finally you can use your stupid attack! Talk about freaking sluggish. 
why does Huey need our help getting this paint star? He can float. Get it yourself, you ding dong. Nothing against Toad, but I'm really tired of seeing so many Toads. I miss when Paper Mario had a lot of fun and diverse characters. What the hell is this shy guy doing standing in a corner, saying, hmm, and slightly shaking? Get a room! This is like the 12th time in two minutes Huey's told me I can push up to talk to him. Yeah, I get it. Thank you, buddy. You can't target specific opponents anymore. I never thought in my days that I would be collecting Toad's pants. And I thought I was your biggest fan. <laughs> I wonder what's at the edge of the world. Oh my god, this game just made a flat earth joke and it works because everything is paper! Ha! Got him! Mm. In Blue Bay Beach, there's a hidden area that has a lot of coins and a thing card. That's cool and all, but if you leave this area and come back, it respawns. Do you know how broken this could possibly be? You could very easily max out your coins and have dozens of OP cards now. And there's another location with these spinies that's the same kind of thing. Uh, since when did we start playing Mario Party? This is Pipe Maze, you can't fool me. I have this horrible feeling that these toads are gonna be stuck in this cliff for the rest of their days. I won't lie, they had us in the first half. I really like that the Koopalings have actual personality in this game, but also, why are the bosses the Koopalings? Why do most of the characters have to be such generic designs? Watching a fire extinguisher destroy Morton's hammer is hilarious, but let's not forget this is a wooden hammer. Wood and fire burns, okay? That's just how wood and fire work. Do the enemies have like three second attention spans? I mean, seriously, they'll chase me and then they just stop for no reason. So we ran into this part with black paint, and then Huey said to close our eyes, and then the paint was just gone. Is Huey some sort of traitor or something? I mean, I hope not. I don't want to be rejected by a paint can. He's running dangerously low on snacks. Yep, that's basically me every day. After getting this giant coin, how much is it worth? Only one coin! That is shenanigans! That only could- Yeah, yeah, there you go, Huey, you get it! Just write my script for me. While you can click a sort button to organize your cards, it's never to your liking. And is this just me, or does anyone else constantly move their cards by accident when you're just trying to scroll through them? That is really annoying. Holy frame rate, Batman. I mean, yeah, it's a lot on screen, but that is quite a dip. To the toad that's hiding in the box trying to be Solid Snake, I'm sorry, but you're not cut out for this line of work. Why can't we just show the captain all the pages at once instead of talking to him one by one? A washing machine was apparently causing a giant vortex in a parallel world. That makes absolutely no sense, but I love how stupidly ridiculous that idea is. You lost your scarf, gloves, and socks? Since when have you ever worn clothes? I've seen thousands of sledge bros in my days. You all look exactly the same. It's no use! I kind of like getting these holograms to show what's going on with Peach, but it was so much more interesting in the first two Paper Mario titles where you got to actually play as Peach and move around and stuff. So I had to go out of my way and find all these toads just so they could form the missing piece for the train station, and that's very thoughtful, but let's be honest here, there is no way the train station will be able to stay up like this, and imagine the sheer pain these toads are going through. Why am I using a knife to chop onions with my feet? There's gotta be a way better way to do this, like, I don't know, use your hands? And there's probably dirt on the bottom of Mario's shoes, which is now getting into the onions. Well, I'm fighting a steak. There is officially no flaws with this game. It's perfect. So this goddamn toad doesn't want to go through this level, so he's gonna make us do it, and he's gonna abuse the system and rack up overtime pay. I had to throw you into the freaking lava for that. <laughs> You can tell the devs were out of time or ideas, because they straight up put two mini stars right next to each other. The Rainbow Road reference is brilliant, but if we're counting this as a track, it's probably the worst one ever. You drive in one direction, and that's it. I can understand having one Roshambo Temple, but why are there eight of them? They're all virtually the same. Talking to buckets. Well, I can scratch that one off my bucket list.
Paper Mario the Origami King. Wait a second, does the title imply that Mario is THE king of origami? Does that make him evil? Is this as close as we're gonna get to a new Mario Kart on the Switch? I'd expect to see at least one toad by now. Ugh, even Luigi has caught on to the endless amount of toads in this series. Jesus Christ, why is Peach so freaking terrifying? That's actually really awesome. Wrong answer, right answer. It matters not. Your replies are all paper thin. Man, you could put that quote in a horror movie and it would fit right in. I wish you could speed up the text. It can be really slow. Obligatory, Mario reminds me of ARMS, the Switch game everyone forgot about joke. That hole in the wall looks like it might be a way to sneak out. Holy sh- Boing. I think you're onto something. Why are you so flat? Wait, hold on a minute. Is that supposed to be a sensual insult or a compliment? Prepare to be folded. Oh, yep, I'm never coming back from that one. Oh, gee, oh wow. Why is the villain rocking an emo hairstyle like some edgelord with a huge ego? It was cute when Paper Mario made a huge emphasis on paper one time, but three games in a row is just overkill. Oh God, I'm calling it now. These dancing trees are gonna get the Rule 34 treatment. Don't you dare look that up. Throwing confetti into holes feels like a slow version of smashing paint into the monochrome parts of Color Splash. I actually feel bad that this wood is gonna burn one day. Like, I know they'll reincarnate, but it's still harsh. I kinda wish the sticker on Goomba's back said, KICK ME! Another Paper Mario, another game with no XP. I might as well get over it. While it's satisfying smashing these flowers for confetti, it's also bad for the environment. Why are there so many fonts and colors on this sign? Graphic designers are cringing at this. Oh snap, Paper Mario confirmed for Smash Bros. <laughs> ah, it, it's just a toad. I mean, yeah, and that's, yeah, it's a toad, mm-hmm. Wow, a rock collectible, so cool. Birdo is making out with Mario, make it stop. Do you wanna cheese every single fight? Take a snapshot of the ring battle, press home, go to your photos, and solve the puzzle that way. The time limit means absolutely nothing. Okay, I've got nothing against toads, but I am really burning out on seeing so many. This is the statement of 2020, let's just be honest. Going around squishing these mini Goombas reminds me of when I lived in an apartment filled with roaches. Thanks for bringing back the horrible memories. Paper Mario 64 is the Crystal King, Thousand Year Door has Shadow Queen Peach, Super Paper Mario has Count Black, guess what Origami King has? Colored pencils? Yep, colored pen- COLORED PENCILS! Getting a bigger bag for confetti is cool, but it would have been cooler and more gratifying if it was earned through XP. I have to pay 10 coins for this telescope, and I can't even move it or zoom in and out? Ah yes, a bob without the fuse. Truly the most creatively designed character. Why does the game have to tease partners? They're only temporary, and you can't even control how they battle. Oh, what's that? You don't feel like solving this puzzle? Just pay 3,000 coins and it does it for you. Oh, and guess what after that? You get all of this free money. So what was the point to begin with? Holy sh- oh. That's a Salamance. Oh my God. I have gone through so much crap to get this monkey to talk to me only for it to be a toad. Oh, of course, why am I even surprised? And then it follows up with, sorry about all this monkey business. I why can I only buy one weapon at a time? I mean, it's not that big a deal, but it's still a nuisance. Oh God, don't remind me of those straw shy guys from Color Splash. Oh, a shiny chest. I wonder what's in there. Wow, there's something you don't see every day. Yeah, no kidding, we've gotten three Metroid games in 10 years. Wow, Nintendo, real mature to make this very specific collectible number 69. Uh-huh, yeah, you're guilty of this, I know what you're doing. Driving around the sand is a lot of fun, but I wish we could move the camera around a little bit. You got a request? Uh, yeah, do you think you could play? Oh, I forgot, I don't take requests. W what the hell, dude, why'd you leave me on like that? <laughs> Okay, that's literally just Moltres. I want you to look at this wall I'm filling in. You may have noticed that I only have this tiny fragment left on the bottom. And you know what I have to do? Throw a massive pile in the air to fill it. It would be nice to be able to throw small and large piles of confetti. Why can't I sell items at the shop? I can only buy them. What is it with modern Paper Mario in large fans? And this filamento is Bear Tick. 
I'm telling you, they're all just Pokemon. You know, this theme park really doesn't feel like a theme park, and it's more or less just another town. It's hilarious that Toad is charging Kamek a late fee, early fee, an on-time fee, and a cancellation fee, but an appearance fee is giving the person money. Aw, oh, you almost had him. Go so, so close. Why am I so terrified of these slender-looking things? God, they're creepy. What the f Whoa! is this game? This is straight up disturbing. This might be as close as we're getting to a Star Fox on the Switch. Oh no, Luigi couldn't find the key. Oh my god, it was in the cart the whole time? So the whole reason for King Ollie making everyone origami is so he can destroy the toads because there's too many. Is this supposed to be a subtle stab at the fans that have complained about the past two games? Are we King Ollie? Is this the developers complaining that they can't put in original characters because Nintendo doesn't want them to? Am I thinking too deep into this? I don't know. Oh, there you are. Big surprise. Big surprise what? That you broke into my house again? I heard you talking into the mic, trashing Origami King. <sighs> it's just a video. Look, why didn't you even give the game a chance? I did give it a chance. I just prefer Paper Mario having RPG mechanics. Is that a crime? Yep. Ugh, <sighs> you people. <laughs> what? <gasps> what the fuck? Thank <laughs> you.